Inspired by the upcoming Christmas holiday, the students of Renton Prep were challenged to create a trap that could catch and hold one gingerbread man cookie. Seems simple, right? Not really. Within the project, certain constraints were set in place for students to work around. One of the limitations was that only one hand gesture could be made during the trapping process to set motion in place. Everything else involved in the capturing of the gingerbread man had to be done by the trap itself. Time was another constraint, as well as resources, the dimensions of the gingerbread man, and the application of science from simple machines or mechanics. This STEAM challenge gives students practice in planning, designing, redesigning, building, testing, applying critique, revising, and carrying out a plan to completion. It also gives us practice with working in groups and managing time effectively along the way, completing the set criteria on time. On December 1st, we started off by researching for some ideas on how to set up a trap. After finalizing our concept, we pitched our ideas to the rest of the class, with a lot of time of one minute per group. So how it works is that there is a, there's a stick attaching the flap that's on top and it's attached to the ramp and once he steps inside, the ramp go, um, pulls this down and then that's what allows this because the stick is being held in place that allows it to flip over. Students could approve or disapprove the pitches using Excel survey. They could also provide any commentary or questions they had. Teams could then read any feedback or comments their group received. The simple machine we planned to incorporate was a ramp. And, inspired by an external source we located, we planned for the placing of the gingerbread man on the ramp to trigger the closing of the trap. Along the way, students used OneNote to document their research, design sketches, documentation, reflections, and group's proposal in the personal sections of the classroom notebook. On December 4th, we were given one and a half hours to build. In our case, most of the time is spent on assembling the trap and trying to cut an opening in the gingerbread house for the trap to be placed into. Unfortunately, some pieces broke along the way, but ultimately, we were able to accurately complete the task. The following Monday, groups individually tested their initial designs. As for our trap, we realized what areas we went wrong and what could be improved for the next testing, so we took critique and started to make revisions. Sticking with the same concept, we modified our original idea with a few changes. Firstly, we decided to build a house and gingerbread figures from scratch. In our original concept, we used a fraction of a smaller water bottle for our trap, but during our revisions, we used an entire water bottle of a much larger size. And instead of gluing it to the top of the house like we initially did, we chose to simply rest it inside of the house in order to avoid the same complications we previously faced. We have learned over time that failure is okay, as long as you can apply and learn from your errors. On December 10th, we retested our revised concept. Our concept worked when Naomi placed the gingerbread man into the trap, but did not work when the hill entry that we thought of incorporating. STEAM is an acronym for the combination of the following disciplines, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Our project can be classified as a STEAM project as it connects to each of the subjects. Our understanding of science is demonstrated through our incorporation and application of a simple machine in our trap. Technology was a major factor in the process as we used it to document progress through qualitative and quantitative data. We also researched for ideas on the internet and used tools like Excel Survey, OneNote, and Hyperlapse. Engineering skills were utilized for designing and building the trap. Art is portrayed through the aesthetics of the design, as well as individual and group sketches that we made. And math goes hand in hand with engineering for creating blueprints for our trap, measurements, and for creating scale drawings. In reflection, we have each learned valuable lessons from this project. We learned that the planning process behind every design is crucial, because if every aspect of the plan is not considered, the end result won't exactly be the desired result. And if a set of instructions are set in place, they need to be followed in order for a proper outcome. And lastly, we learned how to cooperate, share ideas with one another, and collaboratively work in a team to reach an end goal. These are skills that will not only be applicable within the classroom, but in the workforce and other real-life situations as well.